Is Bali overrun with tourists and traffic? Or can you experience Bali as it was before the crowds? Let's find out. Bali has a secret, unspoiled side without the crowds. Almost as it was 30 years ago, but with all the benefits of modern, cool cafes, amazing food scene, a super modern gym, and the best snorkeling that Bali has to offer. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where to go to find this paradise in Bali. Hi, we're Rob and Tali. We left our 9 to 5 lives in May 2023 to travel the world full time. We're on the east coast of Bali in an area called Ahmed. It's a three hour drive from Denpasar Airport. Good to arrange a driver in advance if you can, um, or you can get a taxi at the airport. The beaches here are spectacular. Crystal clear waters. The sand's quite black here, which is typical in Bali, but it gets a lot lighter the further south you go. There's loads of fishing boats here and you can do the most amazing snorkeling. get to most of the snorkeling spots and all of the coral um, just by walking in from the beach. Yes. Yeah, it makes it really convenient. And you can even get out to the Japanese wreck from the beach. Um, and also there's uh, a sunken temple which you can access as well. easiest ways to get around is to hire a scooter for the day. Here's our lovely red beast there. So fun. <laughs> yeah. You can go at your own pace that way. Yeah, and super cheap. And um, what you can do is um, when you head along the coastline, you can just pull up in one of the local warungs, just like here. And um, park up your scooter and uh, look if you buy a, a drink they're happy to look after all of your belongings so you can leave a bag there we felt quite comfortable to do that in um, you know multiple locations along the way um, really convenient to have that around yeah and turns out you can also uh, hire fins and snorkels when you turn up too yeah one of the other options for snorkeling is to go out on one of the local fishing boats so much fun we did it a couple of days ago and one of the benefits of that is that you get to go to four or five different dive sites one of the highlights for us was being able to swim with the turtles we saw maybe four or five turtles but actually being able to swim alongside them was just pretty special only $30 and that was for both of us and it lasted three or four hours which is such a bargain. Well after an afternoon of snorkeling head over to Blue Earth Village Perched up on the mountainside is the spot to come for sunset, great food, cocktails or a good old bintang. So even though Ahmed is like it was, you know, 20, 30 years ago in Bali, it has great cool cafes, um, it's quite a lot of options and they're all really kind of hip and trendy modern with a kind of that Balinese type feel to it. Um, the quality of the coffee is fantastic. We love getting all of the smoothie bowls. Mm. There are really good vegetarian and vegan options and all of the cafes are really well set up for digital nomads. The Wi-Fi is reliable and, and really oh fast. And there's um, power outlets at uh, each of the tables as well. They've got them inside in the cool air conditioning and outside where you can sit and have the most amazing views. Yeah, I'll oh, check this out.
How good is that? And there's also the volcano in the distance. The coastal road goes through loads of villages and each one has lots of rooms in them, places to get massages, lots of new trendy coffee shops, dive centres, places to rent anything you want, like scooters and snorkeling gear, and a supermarket pretty much in each of them. going to show you around our accommodation now but if you're interested in following our adventures around Bali and beyond and what it's like to live a lifestyle of traveling the world full-time and how you could do that then hit that subscribe button like this video and hit the notification so that you get all of our future videos <laughs> Hotel Uyad near Ahmed Beach. It's just lovely here. It's a, a mid range hotel resort with lots of bungalows. It's beachside, it's a beautiful pool, and the gardens and lawns are just lovely and so peaceful. There are so many options here in this area in Ahmed. There are uh, hostels for just like less than $10 a night. And next would be this sort of level. There are also quite, oh, there are homestays as well, a little cheaper, about $20 a night. And there are very luxurious villas on Airbnb that are also about $100 a night. And then there are very high end hotels for only like less than $200 a night. Ahmed also has some really cool jib. Facilities here at the lift gym are great. All of the equipment is brand new. They've only been open since January, so that's only about nine months. And they have showers as well. So really great to be able to see a gym of this caliber here in Ahmed. Uh, it's fully air conditioned inside, and they also have um, an outdoor workout area where I'm at the moment, where they do classes as well. And prices are pretty competitive as well for Bali. The food scene in Ahmed is absolutely fantastic. There are so many options. There's local dishes, lots of um, other Western foods. There's Italian places and in Spanish and Mexican and French. If you want anything like that. We're at a local place where there's lots of fresh seafood here. We've gone for Mahi Mahi, which was the catch of the day, done in Balinese style. And everything here tastes fantastic. And it's a really good price. Oh, wow. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Be quick to come to Ahmed before all the crowds come. Yeah, and like if you've enjoyed this journey, make sure to check out our other travel and overseas videos. And we'd love to hear what you think of this hidden gem. Just write us a comment or ask us a question below. Yeah. Bye for now. <laughs>